Let's talk a little bit about the details of Elasticsearch and how you can use it in your Android applications. The most important of which is, why should you care about Elasticsearch? What value does it provide you and your arsenal of developer tools? If you have any experience using Firebase for the back end of your mobile applications, then you know there's no way to search for strings unless you know the exact value you're looking for. For those of you who are familiar with the database language SQL, this can be easily done using an SQL-like query. For example, if I'm searching for a friend named Elizabeth and I don't know how to spell it, I can just search E-L-I and then use a wildcard and I'll get a bunch of options to choose from. The query would look like this. Select all from users where name like E-L-I star. That would search the users table for any names that started with E-L-I. The kind of results you'd see are Elizabeth, Elise, Eli, and so on. In short, the Firebase framework has no way to perform queries like that, so we need to integrate another tool to improve the search functionality. Fortunately, Google has a number of products that are easily integrated with Firebase for this exact purpose. They're known as elastic search tools. Between you and me, I think Google specifically left this search functionality out of the Firebase API, so developers would have to use their elastic search tools. Why would they do that, you might ask? Because none of them are free to use. They're all extremely useful, but unfortunately, you have to pay for them. Before you panic and run away because you're one of those people who refuses to pay for any developer tools, you can relax because much like most other Google products, the Elasticsearch tool is basically free as long as you're not using it for a production app. So if you're just here to learn about Elasticsearch and build a cool app, then you have nothing to worry about. If you're still watching this video, you're probably intrigued by this whole Elasticsearch thing. So what exactly are Elasticsearch tools? Basically, Elasticsearch tools create an index of your data, so in other words, a copy, or a sort of copy, on an external server. The data is organized in a specific way, and then we can send request queries to the server using advanced search algorithms built into the Elasticsearch framework. That might have sounded a bit complicated, but I assure you it's very simple to set up, and it's very simple to use. Basically, once we set it up, it actively copies the Firebase database, and then we query it using HTTP requests. We'll be using the retrofit library to perform the requests. That's all for the introduction, and I'll see you in the next video.